by removing the retaining box straps from the outside of the box with a utility knife or scissors. Carefully cut the packing tape to open the box. Remove all contents of the box and set them aside. Then remove all packing materials from the body of the Moby. Inside the Moby you should have one seat, four wheels, four hubcaps, one steering wheel, one Moby remote controller, one charger, and the included hardware. Find the wheels with the protruding grooves and install these wheels to the rear of the Moby. If the wheels don't sit flush, rotate the wheel until the grooves sit perfectly flush. Install the retaining washer to the wheel. Install the cotter pin to the small hole in the axle and bend the loose ends to secure the wheel. Then you can install the hub cap. When you have finished installing all four wheels, turn the Moby right side up. Connect the steering wheel by coupling the wires and inserting the steering column to the steering wheel. Install and tighten the steering column with the long bolt and nut provided in the hardware kit. Find the loose couplers to the battery and connect them. They are located under the seat. Turn on the Moby to test the battery connection. The car should start and the lights will begin to flash. Make sure the seat belt is out of the way and wires are tucked before installing the seat. Now you can install the seat by lining up the notches on the seat to the body of the car. Secure the seat with the fastening screw. Shift up for forward. Shift down for reverse. Set either high or low speed. The horn. The electric start button. The foot pedal engages the drive motor. The charging port is located in the rear of the Moby. To use the remote control, install two AAA batteries. Control the Moby remotely by using the directional pad on the remote control. Install the 3.5 millimeter jack to an Android device to play music while the car is on. You can also preload music files to an SD card. The lights will flash when music is playing. We hope you enjoy your Jetson Moby.